In this video, we'll create a new project in brackets and talk about the common structure of any HTML document. Let's start by creating an empty folder where we will put our first HTML file. I'll create this folder right here on my desktop, but you can create your working folder wherever you like. We'll call this one blog post because, as I showed you before, we will start by building a simple blog post web page. I'll leave it empty and just leave it here. And now let's finally open up brackets to start coding. Now by clicking on this button here, we can open the folder we just created. So it's this blog post folder right here. Brackets now uses this folder as our project folder, so all files contained in this folder will be part of our project. Now we are able to create an empty file, and for that just hit the File menu and then New. And that's it. Very simple. Now let's save it and give it a name. It's file. Save and we're going to call it index.html so that the computer recognizes it is as an HTML document. index.html is the standard name for the main HTML file of any project. So as I mentioned before, HTML documents are described by elements. Now all HTML documents have a common structure where the HTML element is the first one, always. So we'll start with this one, HTML, and close it. And now, you see, brackets helps us here and closes the tag automatically for us. Pretty useful. Okay, now inside the HTML element, there are always two key elements in every structure. It's the head and the body. These are the main components of any web page. So let's just put them into the HTML element. So head and brackets also helps us with this. It automatically recognizes what we want to write. So now I just hit return and close the tag and like magic the other closing tag appears. So the head and the same thing for the body tag. And save it. You can also hit Command S or Control S on a Windows machine. The head element can include a title for your website, CSS styles, some information for the browser or for search engines, and more. We will work on all of that later. The body element is where all the visible stuff of your web page goes like all the content such as text, links, images, lists, and many more elements. So this is the very basic structure of an HTML document. But actually, there is one thing missing here, and that's the so-called doc type. The doc type declaration must be the very first thing in your HTML document, even before the HTML tag. So let's just put it here. It goes like this, doc type and the doc, sorry, doc type then HTML. All right, this is technically not an HTML element, but an instruction to the browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. So at this declaration, I just told the browser that this file will be in HTML5 and save our document again. And speaking of saving, let's install our very first brackets extension. I will just hit this button here, like I showed you before. And here, clicking on the available tag, and we'll write autosave. This little extension takes care of saving all our files whenever we leave the brackets app which is very useful. So I already have it installed, but you can just click here on this install button. 
All right. Now we know how to create the basic structure of an HTML element. In the next video, we'll finally start to code some visible stuff for our first web page.